Okay, guys. Um, Dana here. I am on my way to the GAC Studios. That's Great American Country Studios that uh, they are letting WSM use. And we're going to record about, I don't know, four or five shows today with Miss Shannon McCombs, uh, producer extraordinaire. And uh, so I'm just going to kind of do a little video blog for you on this one. Uh, you know, four or five shows of the Dana Williams show today. It's all going to be done. So uh, uh, this all be fun, huh? So we'll be back with you. This is so interesting. She said the GAC Studios, and I didn't realize that the GAC Studios are now where we recorded our very first record, Meet in the Middle. Not only our very first, but our very first probably four or five CDs. Can you believe that? But here I go, I'm going in right now. You go in with us, won't you? Hey, Dana Williams here. Hey, come right on back. All right. Little video blog. You're part of it. You're part of it. That's funny. Right, here we go. It's video blog time. <laughs> You're in. You're in. <laughs> oh yeah, that's important stuff here. <laughs> Shannon right there. Say, hey, Shannon, I've been talking about you. Hello. Did you know we're in the same studio that Meet in the Middle was recording? <laughs> Is that unreal or what? This, this is the same studio. The things you learn. The things you learn. <laughs> what a little setup they got here. I know it. This is Dana's chair. This is my chair right there. His microphone. <laughs> There we go, friends. That was Jeannie Pruitt and Satin Sheets. Now, I know you've heard Satin Sheets. In March of 1973, that was a number one record for three weeks on the Billboard charts. What a wonderful song. Jeannie always said that when we'd play the Opry, she said, you know, when we play the Opry, and I only have the opportunity to do one song, she said, buddy, I'm going to give them the song that they want to hear, and that is Satin Sheets. And, brother, we did Satin Sheets a lot, and I loved it. The next guy I want to play for you is uh, a fellow that I went to work for uh, probably in, I think it was like 82 and 83, somewhere in there. A fellow by the name of Vassar Clements. A great, great fiddle player. Uh, they actually kind of pinned him as the father of hillbilly jazz. <laughs> and we played all kind of shows, man. We got to play some really cool uh, clubs up in the uh, Northeast and played a bunch of shows with Doc Watson and uh, different things like that. And uh, 
just so you so you know, back in 1949, he went to work for Bill Monroe as a bluegrass boy. He was 14 years old, and he worked with Bill all the way through 1956 until he went to work with Jim and Jesse and the Virginia Boys. Uh, this guy was just incredible, innovative fiddle playing machine, and uh, uh, unfortunately, he's not with us anymore. But you know what? His legacy and his music will always be, and I wanted to play uh, play a little bit of Vassar here today, uh, and uh, just uh, such a pleasure that I had the opportunity to work with this guy, such a great musician. Here's a song from uh, Buddy Spiker and Vassar Clements. It's called There'll Be No Teardrops Tonight, right here on 6.50 a.m. WSM. Are you ready in there? All right, here we go. Hey, everybody, this is Dana Williams, and you are listening to the Dana Williams Show right here on 650 AM WSM. This week, oh, what I have in store for you, we've got some bluegrass, bluegrass, bluegrass. And I know you've just been dying to hear some of it. Uh, I don't know if you uh, what you know about me, but uh, I come from a long line of some seriously, seriously great bluegrass. And I'm talking about none other than Bobby and Sonny, the Osborne Brothers. And we're going to play a lot of some Osborne Brothers today. We're going to play a lot of records that uh, the majority of them are all records that Bobby and Sonny recorded of other folks. Uh, hits that were that were already hits, or maybe they were, wasn't yet, and they were going to be hits. But uh, uh, we're going to play a bunch of these. I went through and just picked out a bunch of good ones, man, and we're going to play them and dig them and talk about them the whole nine yards. And we're going to start out with a, a song that George Jones had in 1959. It was a number one record for five weeks, and Bobby and Sonny recorded this. <laughs> And I want you to know it is classic and uh, pay special attention to Mr. Sonny Osborne, should I say. <laughs> yes, I should. Friends, here is White Lightning. That's a keeper. <laughs> Here's the studio. <laughs> we just got done. Right here at the GAC studio. There's Shannon right there. Did you say hey? I'm a camera hog. <laughs> he camera hog. <laughs> but we're fixed to take some pictures and everything. Because uh, we have engineer guy. Right there, say, hey, say hey, Tim. Hello, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? He's, uh, how you doing? <laughs> well, here we go. All done. Had a good time, too, let me tell you. Don't you just love Miss Shannon? Got to me. Good, GAC Studios. Right where the old Midtown used to be. Heading to the parking lot right now. Oh yeah, here we go. It's a fun day, huh? <laughs> 